good morning children so today we are going to start our next topic and uh, today we are we will do question answer of uh, uh, unit 6 section c the eyes have it all right so let's start it first of all we will do rtc so statement i will write here okay so i'll write the beginning and ending right and remaining you have to do yourself okay you have to write full statement yourself okay now question i will write only answers here all right questions you have to uh, see you have to write from your book okay yes october is the best time so this is the statement okay on the basis of this statement questions are number one who said this and to whom answer the narrator the narrator said this to the girl okay so this is answer number a <clears throat> now next question number b why did the speaker say this answer answer number b is the narrator the narrator said this because because in october because in october the weather the weather is good comma the dahlias the dahlias are in full bloom the place is quite the place is quiet and peaceful and peaceful because because most of the tourists because most of the tourists have left okay so this is rtc answer number first answer number b now rtc first answer number c question is what is october the best time for answer october is the best time best time for visiting for visiting masuri okay m u l s double o r i e masuri all right now next rtc is given second rtc <coughs> and that is but her next question removed my doubts so beginning and ending i'm writing okay doubts you have to write full statement okay <clears throat> now on the basis of this questions are first question who does her refer to answer her refers to the goal okay now answer number b what doubts does the narrator have answer the narrator had doubts whether she had noticed whether she had noticed 
that he could not see all right so this is answer number b now next answer number c question is what was the question and how did it remove his doubts answer her question was <clears throat> why don't why don't you look out of the window okay this was the question all right this question this question removed removed his doubts his doubts because because she would not have asked him to look out of the window if she had known he could not see all right so this is answer number c okay now uh, true false are there okay so i'm writing which uh, a sentence is true and which is not all right now first statement is there were only three people in the compartment no there were only two people in the compartment the girl and the narrator okay next the girl was traveling to masuri no she was not this is wrong false statement third the narrator knew there were many animals in the forest area near dehradun no this was not true because he could not see properly so he doesn't know next the girl didn't like to be told that she had a pretty face that is true okay next she liked short train journeys yes that is also true okay now next we will start question answers answer these questions answer these questions okay now question number 1 is how did the girl's parent parents show their concern for her now its answer the girl's parents were very anxious the girl's parents were very anxious about her comfort about her comfort and they gave the girl and they gave the girl detailed detailed instructions detailed instructions as to where to keep her things comma when not to lean out of the 
windows okay and how to avoid speaking speaking to strangers okay so these were the things that the go, uh, the parents told to the girl all right now next question number 2 is why was she startled when the speaker spoke answer she was startled because she thought because she thought she was the only one she was the only one in the train compartment in the train compartment okay so this is answer number 2 Now next question number third is, what voices did the narrator hear when the train entered the Saharanpur station? Now answer. The <coughs> the narrator heard the shouting, shouting of porters. and vendors potters and vendors <coughs> and a high pitched and a high pitched female voice near the carriage do which he guessed which he guessed belonged to the girls aunt who had come to pick her up pick her up from the station okay so this is answer number 3 now next question number 4 is why did the narrator remain silent when the next fellow traveler came into the compartment answer the narrator remained remained silent when the next fellow traveler next fellow traveler came into came into the compartment because he was busy in daydreaming full stop <clears throat> in day dreaming d r e a m i n g <clears throat> in day dreaming <clears throat> now next question number <coughs> question number 5 is what did the new passenger 
assume from the narrator's silence answer the narrator's silence the narrator's silence made the new passenger assume assume that he might be he might be sad to learn that the girl was blind okay this is answer number 5 now next answer number 6 so question is what did the second man notice about the girl answer the second the second man noticed that she was attractive she was attractive her eyes were beautiful her eyes were beautiful but she was completely blind okay completely blind all right so this is answer number 6 now next answer number 7 question why was the second man puzzled when he uh, was asked if the girl's hair was longer short answer the second man was puzzled because he thought because he thought the narrator would have noticed would have noticed her hair comma he did not realize that the narrator was blind too so this is answer number 7 all right now we will do discuss and write questions okay so discuss and write question number 1 is what do you think the narrator means by saying once again i had a game to play so its answer by saying so the the narrator means that means that he had to pretend he had to pretend he could he could see while he was he could uh, see while it was not obvious not obvious to the others that he was blind full stop 
also comma it became a guessing it became a guessing game for him too okay so this is discuss and write answer number 1 now discuss and write answer number 2 first question why do you think the narrator wanted to keep his blindness a secret its answer the narrator wanted to keep his blindness to keep his blindness a secret because c a u okay this is u u u s e because he was probably because he was probably embarrassed probably embarrassed by his condition so this is answer number 2 now next question do you think the title of the story is appropriate and why answer the title the title of the story is appropriate is appropriate because our <clears throat> eyes are one of the most fascinating fascinating part of the body and and they are the first and they are the first feature the first feature to be noticed in a human face all right so these are the question answers that we have done all right <clears throat> now go through this video okay you can take a screenshot also okay go through the video complete the work in your notebook okay and send to me for checking all right i hope uh, these question answers you have understood well okay so <clears throat> that's all so uh, just complete your literature now uh, the, from now as i have completed this unit okay unit 6 section c all parts a b c all sections i have completed so ut3 syllabus of literature i have completed now the time is to revise grammar parts okay thank you so much complete your work and send for checking thank you take care